Hi everyone, uh, Professor Mohammed Shah with you. Uh, our subject today is about uh, a hybrid uh, photovoltaic system uh, combined with uh, a vertical and horizontal wind turbine and fuel cell system for uh, reverse uh, osmosis uh, desalination plant. Um, uh, first of all, it is not a new topic. Uh, we, uh, we showed that before, uh, as I think. Uh, let's go in details uh, this time uh, with respect to the uh, versus Moses. Okay, first of all, you have to uh, uh, specify your uh, folder. This go to your destination folder from here. This is my working folder, so this is my working folder. I open MATLAB first, then go to your destination folder from here. You'll find your results, uh, your data, your models sort by name and the group by type in order to organize everything so we have here dynamic model and uh, ordinary model manually model manually controlled model you can uh, control this uh, all you have to do is to uh, 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 drag and drop or double click okay let's clear everything okay and uh, so let's go inside and see um, okay this is our main model it's about fuel cell system powered by uh, photovoltaic for uh, comparison uh, of the hydrogen and we have a wind turbine which is uh, we have two types of wind turbine uh, vertical type vertical axis wind turbine and uh, horizontal axis wind turbine and we have uh, also a, a photovoltaic system and the main grid if we intended to go uh, uh, more than usual of uh, this relation okay and uh, let's go here okay we have also reverse osmosis which con uh, which is containing uh, three main types uh, the first one is a basic module the second is built wheel turbine and the third one is uh, uh, a pressure exchanger uh, uh, reverse osmosis you have to refer to our previous videos about uh, how to deal with this uh, we made many videos about reverse osmosis uh, with each type uh, so I, I, I will go through uh, the basic one today in order to uh, simplifying everything okay let's go here if we double clicking here okay okay this is a brief description okay uh, set your, your simulation time into zero okay and uh, be sure to check all of this okay Let's go inside and step by step we can we need to assign some uh, uh, inputs for example i uh, i intended to assign the system is in design mode so you have to assign uh, the productivity of your system so this is your ro this is your reverse smoothness plant and this is your control room which is responsible for uh, or responsible uh, about responsible about how to distribute the load power on these uh, units uh, as you can see let's begin from the end uh, because this is our end product because okay which is Moses I'm trying to uh, okay first of all you have to select which type you are going to deal with is it basic one or uh, built on wheel or pressure exchanger Let's go for, for basic one. Uh, let's go for uh, uh, operating conditions, ambient temperature, seawater temperature, uh, salinity. What is your salinity? Uh, suppose I have uh, seawater salinity. Is it, uh, maybe it is uh, 45,000 ppm. That means it is uh, 45 kilogram per uh, uh, cubic meter. And we have here uh, plant productivity. What is your pr uh, productivity that you intended to deal with? Suppose I need uh, 1,500 uh, meter cube per day as a large scale, moderate large scale. And suppose I need to go for, not for home uses, you can select your uh, uh, type from here, I think. Mm, let's go for larger area I think we, we need to yes this one is for larger area um, typically for uh, uh, seawater 
30 heat recovery and uh, for that reason I, I, I have to increase my element per, 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 because we have pressure vessels a uh, number of elements per pressure vessels uh, let it be uh, uh, this is element and this is pressure vessel let it be 40 okay and this is efficiency I will keep it recovery ratio is 30 maybe from 15 up to 30 following factor and this for between condition and this one is for uh, uh, pressure exchanger I will keep this as it is okay for that reason I need to increase uh, uh, is, uh, I need to increase the limit the ranges of the uh, of the results so suppose I need uh, let it be uh, 2000 kilowatt okay increasing vertical wind turbine uh, photovoltaic let it be uh, 2000 okay just double click on this and you can in order to show our results here okay for this is this is the first step you have to assign your uh, uh, main uh, productivity of your system and then we have to uh, control our system this is the second step which type you are going to deal with is it photovoltaic uh, uh, horizontal wind turbine or photovoltaic vertical wind turbine fuel cell only fuel cell or main grid okay because this is a uh, uh, load distribution for photovoltaic uh, uh, wind turbine horizontal or vertical or even vertical we have to select the uh, load distribution between photovoltaic and uh, wind i'm sorry for photovoltaic if i check zero that means uh, the full load is in, in photovoltaic uh, the system is going to be fully uh, operational depending on uh, uh, photovoltaic okay uh, therefore I'm sorry I have to okay uh, suppose I have 50 uh, percent let's go for 50 percent uh, load distribution between photovoltaic and uh, horizontal wind turbine let's go for horizontal wind turbine first as an example what is your load factor uh, I think this, uh, this is fine. Uh, manual replacement of your... What is percentage of replacement of your uh, membranes? I think it's uh, 15%. Cost, uh, blend lifetime, interest rate, and uh, uh, direct capital cost. I will keep this. Okay, I will keep this. Civic chemical cost. Okay, that's it. Apply. You can update this if you would like. You can update this if if you find you in your literature that you uh, these uh, typical values are not uh, new, or you have to uh, because this is these values are, are the standards of uh, to me. Uh, that's it. Okay. Okay. So we intended to deal with a horizontal wind turbine and photovoltaic. So I I have to go here double clicking for horizontal wind turbine you have to select your module what is your module type what is your module type is it uh, because we have uh, from uh, uh, 500 watts up to uh, 8000 uh, kilowatts so suppose i need uh, module type to be uh, around 100 kilowatt of power okay and for photovoltaic i need uh, to assign the following uh, opera operating hours, uh, solar uh, radiation, okay. Number of cloudy days for batteries. The system. So what is your module type? Uh, you can go up to 300. I think uh, 200, uh, 220, 280 is fine for me. Uh, battery depth, battery voltage. Uh, cost uh, what is your battery cost okay because this is will control your or result uh, its effect on uh, battery okay hit apply and okay let's saving and uh, hit apply and see 
you realize there is no result for uh, main grid or fault cell or, or vertical wind turbine only photovoltaic and uh, uh, horizontal wind turbine but first of all uh, okay as you can see here we have here a result for uh, horizontal wind turbine and uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, let's decrease this little bit horizontal i i think let's go for 2000 that's enough for that okay okay so we have here uh, let's go inside the versus and see what is going on as you can see here we have uh, this is basic module a uh, filter wheel driver and uh, pressure exchanger let's go for basic one okay for basic one uh, you have to keep watching this uh, pressure this this is your pressure uh, for such types of salinity I think uh, we are not uh, we are not allowed to, to be to be uh, below uh, 40 uh, bars okay and not to be uh, up over uh, uh, 68 or 70 bars uh, that's quite uh, interesting uh, this is your power it's around 351 kilowatt of power if you increase number of pressure vessels or number of elements you will drop the pressure uh, you will drop the pressure therefore I have to uh, reduce it a little bit okay uh, I have to reduce it or I can increase the productivity. Let's increase the productivity. The power would increase at the same pressure with a number of uh, uh, of elements. Let's go here and see the pressure. I increase the productivity, so I, I will get the result. Surely increasing the pressure here. Yes. Uh, so the power almost one megawatt. You realize this one megawatt, but fifty. Uh, you, you, you don't forget that we divided the load between uh, photovoltaic and, uh, uh, and horizontal wind turbine. Let's go for uh, a a vertical wind turbine and see. Uh, let's go here and hit apply. So I have to uh, double clicking on the vertical wind turbine. I will go for the maximum because maximum um, uh, uh, maximum allowable range for vertical wind turbine is 50 kilowatt. I didn't see in my literature that there is uh, a module of horizontal a vertical wind turbine can give us uh, more than 50 kilowatt of power. So number of of horizontal of vertical wind turbine will increase and the cost will increase too because we used uh, a small or, or lower scale of power uh, so you have to realize this let's go here and make it two thousands of kilowatt of power okay let's set apply and see and you realize the following okay uh, there is no result for horizontal or main grade or fuel cell just just a vertical and photovoltaic as you can see if I intended to uh, increase the load on photovoltaic you can uh, do the following let's make it 70% uh, uh, load on, uh, on, on uh, photovoltaic let apply and run so the one megawatt of power of desalinated desalination uh, is almost on 70% uh, on uh, your photovoltaic system and this is for fully uh, photovoltaic there is no load power on uh, a vertical wind turbine if I checked uh, zero uh, uh, splitting in control room okay um, let's go here okay uh, let's apply uh, okay for fuel cell, this is fully fuel cell load. Let's hit apply. So I I intended to make it full load on fuel cell. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the full load is is in uh, on your fuel cell. Let us check our fuel cell. Okay, let's go inside fuel cell from here. Okay, we have to assign some uh, uh, some uh, inputs. 
because this is uh, electrolyzer should be powered by the photovoltaic so we need to discover uh, uh, photovoltaic related to the fuel cell so you have to assign the same parameters okay let it be 1000 uh, watt of uh, solar radiation module power uh, and the cost okay the same uh, parameters Electrolyzer, we need to. What is your electrolyzer efficiency? Uh, you can change the efficiency and see the effect of power. So, one megawatt of, of reverse osmosis, uh, one megawatt of reverse osmosis, will consume the following in fuel cell. Let's go for fuel cell. Yes, uh, we consume this 1.4 uh, uh, megawatt because we need excess power uh, for the electrolyzer in order to uh, compress uh, the uh, uh, the hydrogen okay uh, so this is your hydrogen power uh, flow rate um, okay this is your hydrogen flow rate in kilogram per second and this is fuel cell cost okay for uh, one megawatt okay total costs okay and let's go inside for cigarette we can discover the fully uh, surely uh, you can assign some inputs such as fuel cell temperature uh, fuel this is fuel cell temperature this is ambient temperature what is what is your low power there is no meaning of this because this is this one has no effect because we already has uh, the power assigned from outside this is our power coming from here from the ro this is total power on our total load on fuel cell therefore i used input let's go for sources uh, this one is input in order to connect uh, the fuel cell with ro if you go outside here you realize this this is our uh, load on fuel cell this is load on fuel cell as you can see if we double click here okay load on fuel cell coming from the control room which is uh, coming from uh, the reverse osmosis this is your low power from reverse osmosis to the control room uh, towards your fuel cell let's go inside here okay so uh, just right click here and going to the mask and uh, edit mask okay uh, let's go for parameters total power here i i i will uh, i will make it uh, i will disable this one or make it invisible okay not visible okay i hit apply okay so if you double click here it is disappeared there is no power here because we don't need this if you intended to control this manually yes you can disconnect your fuel cell by reverse osmosis how to disconnect just remove this one and remove this one okay and the system will go uh, working separately okay so there is no meaning for this you can comment this one make it comment i will delete this one also okay so the system is now uh, uh, i will put it here okay in the same uh, uh, same color because this is your power uh, okay by ground color make it yellow for the power okay um, this is your code you double clicking you will find your fuel cell code here your input and outputs okay uh, so th by the knowing of these inputs we will get these outputs let's go here continue double clicking double clicking we need to assign uh, uh, unit cost uh, you will find this in literature uh, cell area what is your cell, uh, cell area in design mode um, anode uh, partial pressure ca cathodic partial pressure also uh, cell current density uh, these parameters you can you will find this in literature by knowing this you will find uh, this your this is your results what is your uh, reversible voltage of the cell a partial pressure of hydrogen uh, partial pressure of oxygen oxygen uh, concentration activity loss concentration uh, voltage this is very important what is your voltage total voltage 
number of sales and, and so on. So you try to increase uh, the number of sales. Okay, maybe let's go here. Try to increase the number of sales uh, or the sale area. Let's increase the sale area a little bit. Suppose it's uh, uh, 500, maybe I, uh, I, I, I'm checking. Uh, let's hit run and see. Okay. Uh, okay, this is, no, this is a limitation with this one. Uh, let's go here and maybe uh, 300. Let's see if... Because if you change the area, you have to change uh, the other parameters as well. I think. Yes, number of sale, sales has dropped because we increased uh, the area a little bit. You can assign uh, all of these uh, streams and send it to data inspector. You can select it to data inspector in order to discover this value. You realize there is a small square to visualize your signal here. This is very important in order to, uh, it will help us in dynamic mode. Uh, surely we can uh, also uh, highlight this and send it to uh, data inspector as well. Uh, let's go for uh, electrolyzer. Yes, uh, voltage of electrolyzer. You can click from here or just highlight the signal and uh, uh, click on visualize it. As the same for this one, we can do the same. We can do the same. Okay, so uh, saving. Okay. Uh, this is your photovoltaic related to the fuel cell because this is fuel cell number four. We have its own photovoltaic system. Uh, okay. Uh, this is your main grid. It will give us the cost of your main grid. We can highlight this also. Okay. And uh, this is control room. In control room, uh, let's see in control room. Yes, this one. Let's go inside and see. Let's go inside the control room. We have uh, 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 membrane cost, uh, annual replacement cost, annual fixed cost. You can just double clicking and type. I will, not, uh, I will uh, highlight this. Okay, just double clicking and put it here and remove the semicolon because signal uh, doesn't like uh, colon or semicolons and select here you will find this value on your data inspector as well animal chemical cost also you can uh, highlight this uh, control uh, less uh, i okay well, highlight control c double clicking on your signal and put it here okay and let's go here and okay uh, labor cost, uh, as you can see, every, every signal you can name it and uh, you can edit it. Uh, we have here annual uh, for horizontal, for for photovoltaic, for this is your total costs, main grid costs, and uh, unit product. This is your water price in case of uh, uh, fuel cell. Suppose I need to add fuel cell costs. Uh, let's go here. Okay, it's fuel cell. Yes, annual fuel cell cost. You can control C, and uh, we can put it here, colon and or semicolon, and uh, do this. Okay, if you will realize there is a place for it for for the fuel cell annual cost, let's organize this. Okay, I will try to organize. Ah, let I I have to. Uh, remove this little bit for let's see, drag it for the right hand side okay and let's organize our uh, outputs okay uh, okay let's go here okay and there is no result for photovoltaic or, or wind uh, turbine because we, uh, I think we need to, uh, yes. Okay, let's go here. And uh, we, we have to rename this. Animal fuel cell. 
this is uh, annual uh, fuel cell costs US dollar per year and saving if we hit apply I will get a result for this one okay um, uh, what about vertical I, I oh yes vertical wind turbine I yes let's add vertical wind turbine as well control C let it be after uh, horizontal wind turbine or uh, anyway you, you would like any time any place you can uh, add it okay saving and close this one and uh, we need to reorganize back it back again okay okay and let's go here okay and uh, this is uh, for uh, where is a vertical uh, yes this is annual vertical wind turbine that changes okay and okay this is vertical wind turbine okay and we can we need to rename the signal as well on control c and double clicking here control v remove this one remove the semicolon don't forget to remove the semicolon and highlight the signal for the tank inspector and uh, for fuel cell let's add fuel cell signal name okay we need to do this every time it will help us in uh, dynamic mode as well and highlight this also main grid highlight this also uh, your product cost okay saving okay so, so you can run this also in dynamic mode but in uh, by controlling this in, in manual mode you can control this in manual mode uh, so i would like to do this uh, therefore i control the system uh, automatically let's go for dynamic uh, modeling okay uh, okay but uh, i forget to tell you, to tell you something if you would like to get your result here from uh, 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 workspace, you have to do the following. Uh, click here for model explorer, okay? And let's go for this is your model, okay? How is this one? For example, horizontal wind turbine. You can go and select to which parameter you would like to send it to data to workspace by clicking descriptions and uh, for for example this is rotor area save final value to work space axial force save final value to work space torque uh, wind power okay uh, power coefficient number of wind turbine okay and the same for each unit for vertical wind turbine the same okay but uh, try to yes this is uh, power wind power and so on and hit apply and okay uh, this is a wind farm you will find your result Z there is no result because we uh, uh, we checked the fuel cell result no result for uh, for vertical wind turbine uh, no results for uh, uh, photovoltaic there's no results okay let's go back again and just clicking suppose I need horizontal wind turbine and uh, photovoltaic it apply and saving if you had run you will find your results here okay let's go for uh, okay we have horizontal and uh, uh, photovoltaic okay now we got our results air mass flow rate, rotor swept area, uh, axial force, torque, uh, wind power, bar coefficients, yeah, normally, yes, 0 0.2, 20%, number of wind turbines, almost 3, total costs, uh, starting wind speed, uh, rated wind speed, uh, rotor diameter, hub height, uh, uh, rotor speed, and so on. Uh, for photovoltaic you will find uh, what is number of modules you are going to use uh, cell area 
this is your cell area, uh, module area, total area for one megawatts, we need this area. Uh, for uh, 280 watt power module, a battery storage uh, and number of batteries and so on. This is for a uh, single point. You can set your submission time into infinity and run your model in your dynamic mode. And you can control this manually if you would like. Uh, let's go and show you something. Let's go. Set your simulation time into infinity. Uh, and uh, Okay, saving. And hit run and see. Uh, let's hit run and see. I will try to change the productivity of your system. Okay, I, w I would like to change the load power between uh, productivity and let's close this one. This is dynamic mode. Uh, later we can control this. Later, okay. Uh, I don't save. Okay, so uh, hit run and see. Let's hit run. Okay. Uh, okay, let's. I, I'm trying to increase uh, the load power as you can see here, increasing the productivity. I realize there is an increase in uh, in load on photovoltaic and horizontal wind turbine. So, if I drop the pressure by increasing the number of the pressure vessels, you realize the load is in decreasing mode. Suppose I would like to uh, uh, distribute the load equally between photovoltaic and horizontal wind turbine as you can see here load is going to be equally distributed or increasing the load on horizontal wind turbine I am increasing the load going up 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 in order to uh, make it uh, fully loaded on uh, horizontal wind turbine let's decrease the productivity I am decreasing the productivity okay and uh, decreasing the pressure vessels as well. I am decreasing. Okay, let's decrease this. Okay, 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 that's fine. Okay, and hit the stop and see your results on data inspector. So, this is manually control controllable system. Uh, I, I will return this back to zero again. I am sorry. Uh, let's uh, check our data inspector and see uh, you can open this and going to more slots you can only to add more slots this is the final run of that we deal with okay you can check for, uh, for because we change the productivity what is your specific power consumption uh, what is your exergy destruction rate exergy of your feed exergy of your brine um, this is your pressure varying because we increase the productivity and number of pressure and then uh, mass flow rate of your feed okay mass flow rate of your brine uh, yes the same behavior salinity profile you can find this what is your cost or load on your uh, let's go for load on horizontal uh, on photovoltaic I would like to see this. Okay, let's go for uh, animal cost, total animal costs. There's no, uh, yes, um, for this is animal total costs. Okay, you only product cost. Okay, uh, where is the power? I need to see the power load. Yes, this one uh, horizontal wind turbine. Uh, power and photovoltaic power as you go, opposite because we uh, uh, opposite to each other because uh, the load is dis distributed between uh, photovoltaic or uh, horizontal wind turbine there is no load on, on fuel cell zero main grid zero okay okay uh, vertical wind turbine zero okay and you can send the, this result to that uh, to uh, to a figure you can click here to send it to a figure and you can uh, control it uh, as well okay uh, it, it will take some time yes let's go for the plotting and you can control your results uh, if you would like that's white background and you can control this uh, if you'd like 
by changing this uh, line color width. Let's uh, up to you. Okay, let's delete this. Let's delete. I'm sorry. I uh, I will delete all the results. Uh, let's go here and uh, let's click here. Delete all. Uh, okay, and click and uh, uh, let's close this one. For dynamic mode, let's go for dynamic mode and see. A clearing. Okay, for dynamic mode, it's the same. It's the same, but I I I just adjusted my limitation in order to make the system working uh, from itself. Let's go here and see what is our uh, conditions. For our for control room, uh, we need to adjust our uh, some limitations. What is your upper limit? For what is your upper limit that uh, you would like to uh, deal with? Uh, from here, let's go inside. What is our where is our control room? Yes, control room. Okay, this is our look conditions. Uh, if the power exceeded over the upper limit, so the load should be uh, 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 fully responsible by main grid as there is no result for the rest of renewable hybrid systems if it is between uh, lower than upper limit and uh, uh, greater than the medium limit so we need to operate photovoltaic and uh, horizontal wind turbine okay if it lowers the medium limit and uh, uh, exceeded over the lower limit lower limit or medium limit this these limits uh, it is fully controllable by you. You can adjust it by uh, by yourself. Uh, it, it should be assigned by you based on your design, based on your location. It's up to you. F therefore, between medium limit and lower limit, we need to operate uh, uh, fuel cell and uh, uh, surely photovoltaic. If it is below the lower limit, so therefore we need photo, uh, photovoltaic, I'm sorry, a fuel cell and uh, a vertical wind uh, turbine because these are uh, uh, lower in limitations, lower in power, and so on. Uh, the same, you can send your result to data inspector. You, you should send your result to data inspector. Okay, the same. Uh, okay, data inspector. No need for this. Okay, let's go for. Uh, okay, we we need to inspect only the power. Okay, this one is. Uh, uh, let's go for. Uh, to, uh, first of all, you have to select what is your upper limit. Suppose upper limit is uh, two thousand kilowatt of power. Uh, medium limit is, uh, I think it's 1000 kilowatt of power, and lower limit uh, maybe uh, let's in increase this a little bit. Let it be uh, 5000, and this one is uh, 2000, and this one is 1000 uh, kilowatt of power. And the road, I, I will distribute the road equally between. Uh, photovoltaic and the hybrid systems the cost and everything I will keep it as it was number of fuel cells let's go for number of fuel cells let's let it be uh, our fuel cell area let it be uh, 250 okay if I intended to go you can measure this you can uh, examine the results let's go for uh, 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 basic configuration for the RO Ambient temperature, salinity, let it be 45 sea water. Productivity, let's go, let's begin from uh, 1000. Uh, okay, I, I need to change the limits. Okay, if you would like to change the range, just right click over here, going to the mask, edit mask, parameters, and let's go for, uh, yes, productivity. We need to change this 
suppose it's 50,000 meter cube per day. 50,000 meter cube per day. So there's a maximum and minimum. You can change the ranges if you would like. And uh, okay, I, I would like to change the ranges. Uh, let it be uh, begin from 1,000. So number of pressure vessels may be 20. Uh, element sevens, seven elements, recovery and everything. I will keep this as it is. For horizontal wind turbine, 100 module, vertical wind turbine, 50 module, photovoltaic, 28 uh, fuel cell. Okay, okay. Um, I would like to control this automatically. So I would like to change the productivity automatically as the system will run um, not in infinity mode but in uh, a specific uh, a product I would like to assign it without no, uh, any controlling or any movement by my it, it should be controlled itself uh, therefore I need a signal builder system I need to control the signal uh, let's go for productivity of I, I think the productivity is everything for the fuel of the uh, reverse osmosis therefore where is my reverse osmosis here is this one okay where is the productivity this one we need to control this one this one is very important therefore I will let's save this as a trial I, w I would like to disturb this save this as a version dynamic 2 and save as and control x put it here and make it comment and let's go for sources let's begin from n okay okay and we connect this and we will name it as productivity meter cube per day okay um, but remember that I, 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 I forget to uh, select the membrane type seawater yes this one increasing the area will drop the pressure uh, but remember that for reverse osmosis for basic one we are care are and keen about uh, the pressure the pressure we need to adjust the pressure Therefore, uh, we need to adjust our um, uh, number of vessels, number of elements. Okay, we need to adjust this. Uh, I would like to, let's go here, right click, edit mask, okay, and number of, let's go here, uh, number of membranes, okay, number of pressure vessels. Okay, this is not this is number of elements per vessels, and this is number of pressure vessels. Okay, this one, this is very important. So we need to control this one. Let's go. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, number of pressure vessels. I will control exit, control V it, comment it, and we need another uh, signal. Okay, we need another signal. Let's direct this one. Okay, and we rename it as uh, NV. Okay, so if you go outside here, if you go outside, let's go outside, you realize there's two inputs here. There's two inputs one for productivity, one for uh, pressure results. So we need to connect this. Let's firstly um, change the limitations. This is for main grid, 5,000. Uh, for fuel cell, I think 1,000. Uh, photovoltaic, 2,000. Uh, vertical wind turbine, uh, 1,000 kilowatt of power. And load on horizontal wind turbines is 2,000. You can go further than this. Okay, so we need to connect those 
uh, to a signal builder therefore we need another input let's go from side and take it copy it uh, i'm sorry yes from here i will copy this one and hold shift and, con and, and control c and go outside put them here control i to swipe this okay so i swipe this this is for productivity and this is for uh, number of pressure results okay um let's go outside because signal builder sign you realize this productivity and this is number of pressure visit if you would like to see this going to the mask edit mask and check this one pick sports hit apply hit okay you will find in order to be sure that you are uh, in good connection with your uh, parameters why i am doing this because signal builder signal builder is not going to be work with for loop this is a for loop because we have here a four iteration loop for which is Moses therefore we need to put our signal builder that we are going to build our signal outside here let's go here and for sources let's go to the signal builder okay we need two signals actually therefore I will create the first one I will create the first one. Let's go for, for example, uh, uh, set your semester time. Suppose it's uh, 10 hours time power. It's up to you. Set your simulation time from here. And let's go here. And suppose I have beginning from uh, hour number one up to eight hours or 19 hours, 12, make it 12 variable step hit apply i make this one auto okay hit apply and okay now going to the signal builder we have here access time limits is from one make it the same time limit of your simulation time okay now we need to change this we need uh, to replace the signal let's replace the signal with custom signal suppose i have from the time series one step one to 12 uh, i need a productivity for example uh, i need 12 values of your productivity 12 values so i suppose i have uh, for example uh, uh, let it be 1000 step 50 no, I, I, I'm not sure. You can make it a matrix as a 12 uh, values. Uh, 1,000, uh, 2,000, 3,000. Okay. Uh, uh, 4,000, 5,000. Okay. Um, just just an example uh, okay so this is your productivity and you can control it suppose uh, the productivity is in decreased a little bit for some reasons hourly productivity of your system let's decrease this let's increase this uh, it's up to your system because this will control your power load and we have some fluctuation and something like this and then we have we drop the power again uh, if we would like let's let's see let's see and we can rename this as signal one we can rename this as a meter cube per day okay okay let's add another signal let's add another signal uh, signal new signal one uh, first okay this one is for uh, this one is for number of pressure vessels uh, remember that you have to adjust it before going to this number of pressure vessels uh, suppose i have uh, for this one this is uh, i think uh, number of pressure vessels i think uh, 10 pressure vessels okay oh, okay i'm sorry i'm sorry 
we had to we have to uh, add more uh, slots uh, so therefore we can add this one okay we can add one here just uh, hold shift and click each, uh, each point I need to uh, add a value okay holding shift and click it will add uh, a point here uh, if you'd like okay okay so uh, at the beginning we need uh, a value of uh, 10 that's quite normal and then oh, this value is I think this is uh, 3000 okay uh, we need here uh, this one should be I think at 2 we need uh, 35 pressure uh, vessels at uh, this value this one is productivity is 6000 so we need here 60 uh, roughly just roughly but I because I have experience of this so I think we need 50 uh, pressure vessels and this one is uh, okay 6000 is the same we can add the same value we can add the same value of this one make it at four our four we need five uh, i'm sorry uh, 50 okay and let's continue with 50 okay uh, i think this one should be 60 because this is uh, this is a massive increase in productivity okay so at this one uh, 60 pressure vessel should be enough and for this one 60 at 6 our uh, 60 is fine and so on uh, let's go here I, I will keep it manually in order to save sometimes pressure vessel is decreasing which is would decrease uh, the uh, uh, what is this? What is this value here? Uh, 2000. Okay, we need here uh, 20 pressure vessels, and this one is also 20 pressure vessels at 11. And this one, keep it simple 20 at 10. Okay, this is 9 at uh, tw uh, 20, 30. Okay, so you have to make a study about the reverse osmosis itself firstly in order to assign the correct number of pressure vessels uh, with respect to the uh, productivity. Uh, try to reverse, to, um, to divert to my publications about this. Uh, okay, let's con uh, connect productivity, number of pressure vessels. Also, you can connect the water temperature, everything. Uh, with, with with the same manner okay now the system will run automatically it will assign its productivity which is responsible for uh, the power so after the power is uh, changing the control system will distribute the load based on my limits uh, that i already assigned before these limits upper limits lower limits medium limits okay and you can change this as well if you would like automatically uh, okay, let's hit run and see. Let's hit run and see. System will run automatically. There is no controlling from my side, as you can see here. Automatically by itself. Finished. Let's go inside and see. Data inspector. Okay. What is your load power on horizontal? As you can see here. When the productivity increased to the medium limit. Uh, horizontal wind turbine operated uh, vertical wind turbine load at the edges because lower as you realize the power here is uh, over uh, one one uh, megawatts and uh, this is a vertical wind turbine below uh, one megawatts um, photovoltaics surely with respect to the we can put photovoltaic with the horizontal it will cover the the area that uh, horizontal wind turbine is not going to work and fuel cell surely fuel cell with, uh, uh, with uh, 
uh, vertical wind turbine and surely main grid okay main grid okay I'm sorry uh, there is no power on main grid because the productivity is wasn't increased to a massive limit so there is no power on main grid uh, okay your product cost is fluctuating according to uh, the load distribution between horizontal and vertical and vertical finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in omad don't forget to like share uh, and subscribe uh, thank you very much